The hummingbird moth is a beautiful and bizarre creature. People often mistake them for hummingbirds. On the right is a ruby-throated hummingbird, and on the left is the hummingbird moth. I first saw this beautiful creature several years ago and thought it was a hummingbird until I noticed that it had antenna. Its wings were clear and it did not have a beak. Instead it uses a long tongue called a proboscis to reach deep into flowers. We know that most moths come out at night, but the hummingbird moth is active during the day. They love gardens and are likely to visit many flowers, but they won't bother your vegetable garden. Like many moths, this one lays her eggs on the underneath side of leaves. Larvae hatch from the eggs, and something interesting is that the larvae have a prominent horn on the rear. When fully grown into a caterpillar, they will climb down the plant and make a cocoon in the ground and remain there over the winter until they emerge in the spring. This hummingbird moth is working over my cone flowers, but they also like bee balm, phlox, honeysuckle, verbenia, red clover, and wild roses. This guy was quite friendly. I was only a few feet away and he didn't offer to fly away. In fact, he would occasionally fly toward me and hover a few feet from my face, then return to the flowers as if to say, thank you for planting all these flowers for me.